Sabaka started in 1968 as an idea to improve Mardi Gras, to add to it, and to uh, bring the limelight and the focus of the world on the city of New Orleans. Pip's father, Clark's grandfather, started a Mardi Gras ball back in the 40s for tourists visiting town, and it was the crew of Bacchus. And they staged Mardi Gras balls. And uh, in 1968, when they went to form the Bacchus Parade, that's where they get the name from. Well, we broke the mold. Um, the old line crews were very traditional, and there's a place for that, but we broke the mold in that we had these larger floats with animation on them. We invited groups that previously had not been allowed to participate in Carnival Cruise. We opened it up to everybody at the time frame, so it was very democratic. If you had the dues, you were welcome to join the crew of Bacchus. So we changed also the floats. The floor were very small. In fact, when Bacchus first paraded, it went through the French Quarter. We had to buy jacks to make the turn at Orleans and Royal Street to make sure we can make that turn there because the older 19th century floats were much smaller. Um, we have some beautiful signature floats that really tell the story of Bacchus from the Bacca Wapa to the Bacca Gator. I think my favorite, though, is the Bacca Saurus. It's just such a large, gentle giant. I think he's, he's a perfect float for our crew. The Bacca Gator changed Mardi Gras. There was never a multi-tandem float until the Baca Gator. And Augie Perez was sitting on an airplane one day and looked out and saw where the luggage train, and it had a, a tractor, but the train moved like a snake. And the carts just came right behind it. And it's like, hmm, if, we, if they can do that, then we can make a float like that. And the, the Baca Gator is the first tandem float in Mardi Gras. And everything you see today follows that same plan to make sure that it can turn down the streets and turn into buildings and that sort of thing. Every year we try to do something though very special uh, depending on the theme. Um, when we had the Wild West last year, we had cowboy hats that we threw off of the floats to the people. When the theme was children's stories, we did uh, chalk for them to paint the sidewalks with. And we always try tying it on in to the theme. So there's always something different. For the past few years, I've been thinking of this idea of developing an app where we can catch throws off of a float. And so this year we developed an app uh, where you can hold your phone up to the float and as it goes by the float will transmit to your phone to throw beads to you and some of those beads that you catch will you will be able to come to the den here and redeem them for the actual item now we don't have a parade this year so we've decided to kind of modify our app slightly and instead of you seeing the floats through the app we're going to play a video during the parade time I want Mardi Gras to bring joy back to people. Just like when Mardi Gras after Katrina. Katrina was a complete devastation of our city, but we came back and COVID has been a devastation to our country and our world. And I want Mardi Gras to be a part to bring joy and happiness back to our people. Tonight's show is made possible through the generous support of our sponsors.